bring something to you from the United States, something to teach you that will help your education, which you're learning here. But Reverend Leo and I thought it would be, it would be good for the children to, to learn about something that is American, but that also applies to your lives here and our mission here in Nigeria. One day, Reverend Leo and I met a bishop in Chicago. His name is Bishop Joseph Perry. Can you say that? Bishop Joseph Perry. Bishop Joseph Perry. And I met Bishop Perry once when he was giving a presentation about a priest whose name is Father Augustus Tolton. And I have something for you that I'd like to that I'd like to pass out. And these are prayer cards, holy cards of Father Augustus Tolton. And I learned all about this priest uh, from Bishop Perry, who is heading up Father Augustus Tolton's cause for canonization to be a saint in Rome. So, could we hand these out? And Father Tolton was the first African American, black American priest in the United States of America. And these holy cards I have of Father Tolkien were given to me by Bishop Perry in Chicago before I came to visit you here in Nigeria. Okay, and so our principal is going to hand out uh, prayer cards, holy cards to you of Father Tolton. So I'll tell you now a little bit about, about Father Tolton. He was born as a slave. A long time ago, there was what's called the transatlantic slave trade. And that began in the 1500s or 1600s, like 400 years ago. And there were slave ships that came from Europe to the coast of West Africa, which is, which is where Nigeria is located. And there were, there were slaves trading for goods from Europe by these European slave ships. And, this, and the slaves from Africa here were brought over to the New World which is the United States and South America and Canada. And among these slaves were the ancestors of Father Augustus Tolton. 
his family ended up on a slave plantation where the owners of these plantations, you know how you plant here, you plant crops, you plant pumpkin, you plant cassava, and all the different crops. In the United States, they had huge plantations where they planted grain and uh, corn and sugar cane. And this was the work that the slaves did every day. And it was very cruel because they had no choice in the work that they did because it was considered that those who bought them in Africa owned them and they could work them in a way that was very hard and they maltreated them in ways that were very sinful. And so this was Father Augustus Tolton's family. They grew up on a slave plantation. And the plantation owners were Catholics. And even though they mistreated their slaves and treated them like animals, they still believed that they were human beings. And they had all of the slaves baptized as Catholics. So as the years went by, eventually, the United States abolished slavery. And President Abraham Lincoln issued a proclamation in 1863 called the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed all of the slaves. But before that happened, Father Tolton's mother, and, her, and she had three children, they fled, they escaped, and ran away from their plantation. And they escaped to a free, the state that they were in was uh, called Missouri, which was a state where slavery was, was legal, it was allowed. But they fled and they escaped to the state of Illinois which was a free state which abolished slavery they ended slavery in 1824 so father Tolton's mother knew that this was the place for her to escape to freedom with her children <coughs> so that's how father Tolton escaped to freedom and he was brought up in a Catholic parish and he worked in Illinois in a city, it was a town called Quincy, Illinois. And he was very faithful, he was very devout. He served at Mass every day, like you serve Mass here. He served his pastor. And he also worked. He worked in a tobacco factory. And he uh, pulled the leaves off of the stems of tobacco plants. And that was his work. To, and he was paid very little money, but that went to support his mother and his, and his siblings. But the priest in his parish saw that, Father, that Augustus, is, was his name, was very hardworking and he was very devout and prayerful. And he believed he had a vocation to the priesthood. And he had requested that he would be admitted to seminaries in the United States. And at that time, in 1870, there were 18 seminaries all over the United States of America. But not one seminary would accept Augustus as a seminarian at that time. So. They didn't know what to do because the priests and everybody who knew Augustus believed he had a vocation to be a priest. So what they did is they made an appeal to Rome, to the Vatican. And there was a, a college, a seminary in Rome called the Urban College that accepted Augustus to be a seminarian. And in 1886, after spending five years in Rome at the Urban College, 
Augustus Tolton was finally ordained a priest. And, but what he believed at that time in 1886 is that he was going to be sent to Africa as a missionary to preach the gospel to the peoples in Africa. But the Pope in Rome believed that Father Tolton now should go back to the United States and to serve as a missionary to the people of the United States, where he would be the first African-American priest in the United States, a country that had helped him, but that rejected him as somebody who would be a priest in their country. And so the Pope, after training him to be a priest, sent him back to the United States to be a missionary and to enlighten people there that God can call anybody to be a priest, no matter where they're from or, matter, or no matter what their, their race. So that's what happened in 1886. And there's much more to this story of Father Tolton. And I'm not going to tell the whole story, but I brought you something that you can learn his whole story in this book. And this book was written by a friend of mine. Uh, her name is Joyce Dariga. And I used to work with Joyce. And I learned recently that she wrote this book about Father Tolton. And so this book is perfect for secondary school students. So this is something, uh, and I brought 30 of these books, and your teachers can help you uh, with these books. You can read them. And uh, this tells the whole story um, of Father Tolton for you. So you'll learn everything about him in this, in this book. And also remember that his cause for canonization to be a saint is, is in Rome right now. And Bishop Perry is leading this effort for Father Tolton to be named a saint. So I would like to um, also mention this uh, to the teachers um, who are here today. I've brought 30 of these books. Um, so you can use them in your lessons. Um, and then with the book, we have uh, this study guide, which has questions for each chapter of the book. So that, at, so that as you're reading the book, you can read these questions and answer them, and it will, will help you learn more about Father Tolton. So, this was uh, what I wanted to share with you uh, today, and I think you'll find the life of Father Tolton inspiring, and I would ask you to pray for his cause to be a saint, and uh, pray for Bishop Perry, who is the bishop in the United States, who is leading this cause uh, for Father Tolton. And I would just like to end um, by saying the prayer, if we could all, how many, you all have the prayer card, right? Yes. So on the back of that card is a prayer. So let's just, we'll pray this prayer together. I'll start and then you all pray with me, okay? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Together, oh God. We give you thanks for your servant and priest, Father Augustus Tolton, who labored among us in times of contradiction, times that were both beautiful and paradoxical. His ministry helped lay the foundation for a truly Catholic gathering in faith in our time. We stand in the shadow of his ministry. May his life continue to inspire us and view us with that confidence and hope that will forge a new evangelization for the church we love. Father in heaven, Father Tolton's suffering service 
sheds light upon our sorrows. We see them through the prism of your Son's passion and death. If it be your will, O God, glorify your servant, Father Jesus, by granting the favor I now request through his intercession. So that all may know the goodness of this priest, whose memory looms large in the church he loved, complete what you have begun in us, that we might work for the fulfillment of your kingdom, not to us the glory, but the glory to you, O God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are our God, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Father Augustus Tolton, pray for us. Thank you.